Yeah, my name's Right Way Bain Hill, yeah? And uh, I'd like to tell you about uh, prison, my prison life, yeah? A bit about my prison life that I've gone through over the, over the years. You know me as Ray Hill on the, on the podcast, but my, my, new, my, my new one is uh, Ray Bain Bain Hill. And it's my, my own podcast, and I like to maybe to view and subscribe. So we'll go and start off here. When I was like, um, what? I'd already finished my YP, so um, I, I went to the scrubs on a seven-year sentence. And um, the first one, the, the first big sentence I ever got was seven, was, was three and a half years. Then this one was a seven, and after that was twenty-one years. But I'll tell you about my seven years first, yeah. So anyway, I go to the scrubs. And it's all new to me, yeah. I've been to the scrubs before as a YP, but never as a big prisoner, yeah. And it goes to reception. You go into a big holding cell, yeah. Massive got a big holding cell. Maybe 30, 40 people in there. And they're all fucking, like, smoking cigarettes and, and shit in their cells. What sort of fucking talk about their sentences, talking about appeals. They're going to appeal sentences this. They're going to go not guilty this. And they're going to go not guilty that drive you fucking mad, you know what I mean? We all know what we've done. We all know we're fucking guilty, 99 times out of 10. We're all trying to get off of it, yeah? Anyway, so um, I'm sitting in there, the people, uh, I can't believe it how it is, yeah? But all big men crying, you know? But it was a YP, you don't really, really fucking cry as a YP. You just having a laugh and fights and just enjoying life, yeah? But as a big man, all they want to do is cry their fucking eyes open. So anyway, so they call me in the office. Ray, you all come in here, yes, mate? Um... Okay, where are you, mate? I remember you here the last time on the YP. Are you still as much aggro as you used to fucking be? No, 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 I'm good, mate. I'm, I don't cause no problems no more. I'm no, quiet and right down, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, so you're on remand, aren't you? No, 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 I've just got fucking sentenced to a bad crime, yeah? I'm doing seven years, yeah? Okay, one minute. Yeah, you are doing seven years, really. Um... Listen, we got no trouble from you like we used to have from fucking when you was a YP, yeah? No, 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 I was sweet, man. I ain't going to cause no problems. I just want to get on my bird, get it done and get out as quick as possible. So, anyway, we're going to put you on the fucking sea wing. Okay, no problem. Um, we're going to go on the twos in sea wing. Here's your card. Fuck off over there and wait over there, yeah? Go and get your food and they'll call you when you're ready, yeah? So, go and get, go and get my food. It's fucking shit, really. But you get as much as you want to eat, so I'm just, eat as much as I can, yeah? Before I go to my cell. Anyway, so I'm, what, in holding cell for about, what, two hours? Two and a half hours? Fucking driving man. All say, hey! Oh, yeah, mate. Uh, C ring, C2. Go through, walk through, C2. Give me my card. Go upstairs to the second landing. Go in the cell. There's three of us in there, yeah? I'm getting the top bunk. Once, one on the, one on the little bed. He must have been here. He's been there a long time. One on the bed down below, on the bunk bed. He's been here, more like upstairs. The other guy's gone this morning. So he's took over, yeah, gone, gone downstairs. Top bench, the cunt. Top bench, the worst one. Anyway, I'm in the top bunk. All night long, farting, shitting, burping, burping, fucking smoking fags. But come on, they were nice. As it happens, these two are nice guys, you know what I mean? Really nice people, yeah? But what I never experienced, because in your YP you get single cells in your YP, it's not double up, it's all singles, yeah? But when you go to a big man's prison, it's fucking two up or three up. This is three up, yeah? And you got to imagine, uh, uh, try and imagine this, yeah? But in that cell, all that's in that cell is a corner unit with a bowl, a jug, and bits and pieces like shaving equipment, yeah? Which is no blazing or nothing like that, yeah? But... Then you got to put your stuff out. You put your stuff out. You get your your bed pack out the fucking out of the pillowcase. You put it on. Start making your bed. Talk to the guys. Everything's sweet. Yeah, nice mate. Everything. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I'll pay for the fucking night. I wake up. There's this guy sitting on the bed, right, having a shit. Sitting on the bed. I've never seen it before. You know what I mean? Even though I've done fucking prison sentences, I've never seen this before like that, yeah? So there he is, he's got paper on the bed, he's shitting in the paper and pissing in the pot. Fucking hell. And then he, all of a sudden he stands up, wipes his ass, puts it on the fucking, puts it on his shit and the paper, cuts uh, um, some fucking, uh, some stuff off his sheet, like a cord, cuts it off, 
ties the poo up in a, in a bundle and throws out the window. That's what they call a ship parcel. And believe it or not, there's about a thousand ship parcels go out that window every night, you know. And the f fucking millions of cockroaches outside. <laughs> you look out your window, the fucking whole ground is full of cockroaches. I'm on about fucking millions of them that are eating the ship parcels, right? Anyway, I can't believe this. Well, fuck that. I ain't doing that, mate. No fucking way. I hold my shit, you know what I mean? I ain't doing it. I don't really want like pissing in the pot. You know what I mean? Because what you usually find that sometimes you get guys that go in their fucking cells, yeah? That what happens, yeah? What happens, they, they, uh, they get, they get, they get, they get in the cell. Someone goes out to collect the food or whatever. They want to piss. And what they do, they piss in the fucking cup. Piss in the cup, throw out the window while we do it in the pot, yeah? And then you come in the fucking cell, you might wash out the cold water, and then you come in the cell, get that cup, go downstairs, fill it up with tea from the urn, and fucking drink it. And this geese is just pissing in your pot, pissing in, you, in your cup. So you've got to be careful, you know what I mean? There's lots of things happening in prison, you won't believe, yeah? Anyway, um, get up in the morning, go and get your hot water, come out your thing with a jug, in your piss pot, go to the fucking slop out, Stop it up, get your water, come back to your cell, slam the door, everyone slams the door, fucking everyone gets a wash. So you can imagine there's three guys, right, all got a bowl and all got hot water. Now you've all got to have a wash, right, everyone has got to wash, yeah. Maybe one don't wash too, I don't know. So anyway, who's to wash your cell, yeah. Have a wash, brush your teeth, yeah, and then all, after all that, open the fucking door, slop out, slop out all your stuff. Come back to your cell, bang, cell goes, and then it's breakfast. So you go downstairs to your breakfast, go downstairs to your breakfast, you got porridge, sausage, bacon, bread and butter, yeah? And that's your lot, it's a fucking lot, and a bit of milk, yeah? If you're lucky, yeah? Anyway, so this is going on for quite some time, you know? But fucking know, like, the guys are nice, going out in the yard, sunny days, it's quite nice, yeah? But you're still fucking in prison. And you're looking at your sentence, yeah? Anyway, you've got to go downstairs to get your fucking, your, your, your EDR on, and all that, your earliest date of release and your longest date of release, yeah? So you go downstairs, sit on the chairs, and call you in the office, yeah? He'll sit down, you're fucking, you're treating like a child, you're like a little kid, you know what I mean? Like a kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. 13154 on the old governor, that's it. Um, you know, you've got seven years, Eddie. Yeah, I do. Um, you know, out of that seven years, you do four years, eight months, yeah? I thought, fucking hell, it's like forever. You can imagine it, can't you? Four years, eight months. It's like, it sounds forever that you've only just done two days. Don't forget, you didn't come in Friday. There's no fucking, don't go downstairs until the Monday. You've only done two days, banged up, and it's like fucking, like a lifetime now, you know what I mean? And you've got all this to do. You think, oh, fuck me, what am I doing, mate? This is like, I ain't doing this, you know what I mean? And you start seeing people you know from fucking your YP and your mind your mind in prison or in Brixton or whatever it be. Hey, I go, right, how are you doing? I'm doing a 10, I'm doing a 9, I'm doing an 8, I'm doing a 5, I'm doing a 12. You think, fucking hell, this ain't ever going to end, you know what I mean? Fuck me, what's going on here? You know, people are like doing so much bird, it's unbelievable, yeah? So anyway, after I come out, after I come out the, um, the fucking thing, um, I think to myself, there's a couple of screws I know, you know what I mean? Hello, Willie, how you going? All right, Governor. Listen, you got a job or anything like that? No, 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 I've not got no job. I've just come in, I've only been here fucking two days. Do you want a job? Yeah, we're doing what? Mopping downstairs, mop the floor downstairs. We're mopping the floor downstairs. It's an odd fucking job, but it's a job where you're getting out of your cell and you ain't fucking banging up until dinner time or whatever and tea time, yeah? But all of a sudden, they get a right nasty fucking screw, mate. You're in trouble, yeah? Nasty screw will get you to scrub the floor and wipe the floor with a cloth, yeah? So you're scrubbing it with soap. Put your soap on your scrubbing brush. Get on your hands and knees. You've got rubber fingers on your fucking knees. Scrush, 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 scrush. Wipe it with a cloth. Do it like that. And it takes like fucking two or three hours, you know what I mean? To do the whole landing, yeah? To do the whole landing downstairs, yeah? And you've got to polish it in the afternoon. And get a white, as I say, get a white counter screw, you're in trouble.
But you get an ice cream, let you mop it all over, mop it over, mop it over, mop it over. You can, and then polish it, you can polish it at the same time, and you've got a day where you're doing nothing. Yeah, just re, just enjoy relaxing, yeah? Anyway, so we, we happen to get a right arsehole, as you do, yeah? Got a right arsehole. So anyway, got this fucking arsehole. He wants us on our knees, fucking scrubbing brushes, brush, 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 brush. And that's it. I feel fucking, I can't believe this, mate. I can't believe this is too much for me, yeah? But I'll do it. I'll do it because you've got to do it, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you lose the fucking job, you bang up. Anyway, I'm getting, uh, this is going on for days and days and days, you know? I don't mind. I'm easy, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, we've got a right good screw and you can mop the landings, mate. Just mop it. It's all fucking clean. Just mop it over, polish it in the afternoon, Bob done, yeah? I'll polish it this morning. It's up to you, yeah? and get out and just enjoy yourself and uh, getting out meeting people was, was nice you know and, and, and in the end of the day going out exercise I talked to people it was nice it was really really nice I enjoyed it you know I mean not in fucking enjoy it out in prison but it's better than being banged up anyway fucking on mate what happens then I'm like I've all I've said it's told you stories before, but it's better like you've got to go on a bit, you know what I mean? Anyway, so um I'm fucking downstairs. I've come out of the office or something like that, and I bumped into one of the screws and he went, Hello, where are you going? I went, Hello, I go, no, what's happening? He went, Don't you remember? I said, Yeah, I remember you from my YP. He went, I remember you really as well. You're still as bad as what you are, what? You still a fucker? I went, nah, nah, I'll quiet him down and go, no, fuck all this, mate. Listen, I'm doing seven years now, you know what I mean? I've got seven years, and, I, and, and I've and i got to get out of government. I've got four years, eight months to fucking do, you know what I mean? And if I have a lifetime, it's, it's not forever. So he went, listen, let me tell you a little thing, yeah, to, give, to, to, to help you out here, yeah? I said, what's that, mate? He went, look, let me tell you something, mate. He said, there's a guy... In this fucking, in this prison, well, there's, actually there's two in this prison, but let me tell you about the first one, yeah? The first one's upstairs on the fourth, yeah? And he's an Indian, yeah? And he, they, what they've done, there's two of them. I think one's on the threes, or one's on the ones, yeah? Not on the twos, where you are, yeah? But the one on the fours, it gets unlocked early in the morning, yeah? And you know what the water's like, really? The water's fucking white hot and it's boiling, mate, innit? And it burn your fucking, burn your skin off your hands all day long, innit? Yeah, come it would, yeah. So what would you do to your face? Oh, fuck that, go a bit of, take your face off, mate. Well, let me tell you what, what's going to happen, Ellie. Listen, this guy, these two Indians are white fucking bastards, yeah? They got hold of a young girl, yeah? And they fucking raped her. And they took her to a graveyard, yeah? And they've done all sorts of things with her. This girl's about 13, 14 years of age. And they ruin her, mate. Not only did they ruin her, but they give her all sorts of diseases, yeah? And this girl's fucked for life, yeah? These guys got 12 and 14 years of your 14 years. So it was a bad rape, yeah? And not only did they try and rape that kid, they tried to kill her, mate, you know what I mean? But she survived. And they're there. So, come on. I've been told you, I was told you'd come. I knew you was a bit of a fucker, really. Listen, we're going to look after you, mate. When I say look after you, we're going to look after you, yeah? We'll give you whatever you want, yeah? But we want these people fucking obliged, yeah? Honestly, really, really fucking hurt, yeah? One of the fours, yeah? I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, if you're interested, if you want to do it, you know, open you up in the morning, early in the morning, so you get upstairs, Wait for his cunts in the recess, the first one, yeah? Will you do that, Ellie? I went, yeah, go, no, I will do it, yeah. What? I said, yeah, I will do it. Of course I'll fucking do it. You're going to look after me? Yeah, I, of course I'll do it. Yeah, I'm up for it, yeah? Okay, right. Anyway, I'm in my fucking cell. Bump, dinner time comes downstairs. Have your dinner. Everything's sweet. Nice bit of food. Great exercise yard. Lovely, mate. I love it. Anyway, so, come morning. Well, come that night, actually. We're playing fucking cards in my cell. So we're playing cards. These kids now, right, they want to play fucking uh, some fucking Kaluki. I'm learning the game, right, learning the game of Kaluki. So the kid, one of the kids, 
fucking about, he draws a big heart on my fucking shirt, silly cunt, yeah? What's he loving me or something? I don't know. Anyway, pulls a big heart on my fucking shirt, yeah? A big arrow going through the shirt. So he goes to me, um... Listen. Ellie. I go, what? He went, I've just drawn a big heart on your fucking shirt. I said, you, I'm, what, you're from a cunt, don't you think I can feel it? You're a little prick, mate. Anyway, come fucking the morning, the screws opening me up early, yeah? to go upstairs so I whisk my fucking shirt on run up the stairs go in the recess get the boiling boiling water out of the tap yeah which is fucking white hot mate you could put your hand there fucking take your skin off right in a bowl all of a sudden unlock I can hear more unlocking yeah a couple of guys coming stopping out all this shit in the fucking urinal that's the, that's the big fucking um, big thing where you put your shit in yeah Fucking stinks, mate. It fucking reeks. I don't need screws to do this job. It reeks. I thought, fucking hell. You know what I mean? Anyway, all of a sudden, this Indian comes in. I do him with the water, mate. I fucking do him with the hot water boiler. He's screaming like a pig. But the screws, no. And I'm fucking smashing his head on the urinal, mate. I'm telling you. I've opened his head up like a sardine can. I'm just smashing it and smashing it. I'm kicking his bollocks and everything. I stamp all over his bollocks, mate. Stamp all over his bollocks. I fucking smash his hands to pieces. Smash his hands. Stamp on his hands. I'm fucking kicking him over. He's, mate, if he dies, he fucking dies. You don't really give a fuck. This fucking notch pedophile cunt, yeah? Anyway, I'll go. I'll run down the stairs. But what it is, one of the fucking Indians, who's maybe his pals, who on that fucking landing, yeah? Have seen me run. And see the heart on my back of my shirt, yeah? Anyway, comes exercise now. This is hour, two hours later after, after breakfast, yeah? When the screws come back, two or three hours later. Open my door, go downstairs, go out in the exercise yard, yeah? But I know it's twos and fucking fours, yeah? No, uh, twos and threes today, yeah? So this fucking other Indian is out with us, yeah, I don't let everybody out on the same fucking day, it's like the same day, but different times, yeah, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, next day, one in the afternoon, one in the afternoon, and, and, and do it like that, yeah, so he's fucking, this cunt's walking around the exercise yard, mate, he's got to go, he's got to go, he's one of the fucking geezers, so I'm watching him, mate, the screws on the exercise yard know that it's going to go off, but it can't go off in the exercise yard, because there's no way I'm going to get away with it, yeah? No fucking way. Also, I'm walking around the yard. He goes into to the toilet, mate. Hours about that, you never fucking think in a million years, would you? But in the toilet, there's someone cleaning the toilet. Well, obviously, I found out when I went in there. There's someone cleaning the fucking toilet. So there's a mop in there, bucket, and a scrubbing brush, yeah? Well, the scrubbing brushes have got like a point on the end, yeah? These fucking things. So I goes in, as I go in, this cunt's in the toilet having a shit. But Indians don't shit sitting down. They shit squatting on the toilet. They squat. So he's squatting on the toilet. Stinks the fucking place out, yeah? Shit everywhere, yeah? So I thought, that dirty little cunt. So I've got the grab scrubbing brush. I rush for the door. The doors were low, yeah? Cut off, way cut. So I can let the screws can see who's in there, yeah? Anyway, it's cut off, yeah? So I rush in, fucking push the door up. Push it, and the door's open. Out was it? Open towards you, yeah? Like, it was open towards you. So I pushed the fucking door out. Right, ran in, fucking smashing this cunt to pieces, mate. S smashing him to pieces. All over his fucking... I don't want to smash his head. All over his arms, his shoulders. But I have to hit him on the head, mate, once or twice, you know what I mean? But you can't do too much. you fucking kill him. Like, they were upstairs. I could have killed him, yeah? I smash him to fucking pieces, mate. When I say smash him to pieces, I smash him to pieces. There's shit all over my trousers, right? All over my fucking shirt, everywhere. Because he's on the thing squatting. So when I've hit him, the shit that he's on has gone all over me, right? But obviously so, the stink and all that. You don't really take a lot of notice, you know what I mean? I all I want to do is hurt this cunt for what he's done to that young girl. Anybody watching this pod, right, would do the exact same thing, mate. Do you know what I mean? Mums, dads, fucking brothers, sisters would do the same thing. 
Do you know what I mean? I dare this fucking cunt do what they've done to a young girl. They raped her, mate. Raped her and then took her to her graveyard and fucked her again and raped her and done all sorts of things to her and give her diseases and tried to strangle her, you know what I mean? Is that too much, mate? Fourteens and twelves. They should have got life imprisonment and their bollocks chopped off, yeah? By the time I finish with these two around their bollocks, they're better off getting their bollocks chopped off, mate, and changing their sex because I smashed them. I squashed their fucking cocks, mate. Hit their balls, smashed them to pieces, yeah? I fucking went mad, yeah? Anyway, I comes out of the fucking, out of there. I'm walking back around the yard. I can see all the fucking screws running like lunatics into the toilet. They know once I'm out, it's on. They're rushing in, yeah? I see him being fucking dragged out, right? I dragged out, mate, and he's in the fucking bloods everywhere, right? And I'm full of shit. I stink. So as I'm coming in the wing, right, I goes up fucking stairs. I'm fucking covered in shit, stinking like a fucking polecat, mate. Goes in my cell, get a wash, put a T-shirt on, yeah? Come down the stairs, and there's the chief, Big fucking chief, it was got a big crown on his head, yeah. Uh, two or three screws at the bottom of the stairs. What, what the fuck's going on here? As I come down the stairs, they fucking pounce on me, yeah. But they ain't four. There's about fucking ten of them. There's four there, yeah, but all of a sudden they can't go out this fucking ten. Where these cunts come from? They must have come from another wing. Something must have been said that they knew that something's going on with the screws on the wing about knowing that they fucking uh, got hold of someone to fucking sort these people out. But anyway, they dragged me down the fucking block, buckled me up there, yeah, buckled my arms up, buckled my hands up, put me between my fucking legs. I can't, I can't do fucking more. I could just about breathe, mate. Just about breathe. Put me in the block, chuck me in the fucking cell. What the fuck? Anyway, who gives a fuck? Fuck them. Fuck them, wankers. You know what I mean? Put me in the cell, drag me in the cell, bosh. I stand up looking fucking out the window. And I thought, fuck me, who the fuck's that? There's this black guy, yeah? His arms are touching the floor nearly, yeah? He's about five foot six tall. And he's about five foot six wide. And I ain't fucking joking, I'm telling the truth, yeah? And I've only just, I found out, obviously I found out, who he was by the screws in the block, yeah? Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart was Mr. Universe. Fucking black guy. Massive, yeah? Anyway. So they all shout out, Get out of that fucking window! I'm bollocks, yeah? Fuck you, yeah? I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking way you are. I don't give a fuck who what you're saying, yeah? At that time, yeah? Fuck you. And his name's Obadiah. Obadiah? Obadiah. And he's African, yeah? And he's got about 10, 15 screws wrapped around him, yeah? He ain't exercising with no one, but he's fucking self. Obadiah, right? Like Ob yeah, Obadiah. And he lived in Lambert Grove. And he had a bit of trouble, I think, with his people around the house or whatever, or his wife or whatever he was. And they sent some fucking old Bill up to see him. He smashed them to pieces. They fucking shit us all run down the stairs. He just bashed them up. So what they decided to do was get the dogs in there, fucking sort them out, the dogs brought me down, man. So they put set three dogs out stations in there. He fucking ripped the folks out and threw them out the window. He fucking ripped the folks out, ripped their legs apart, mate, and threw them out the window. This geezer was one power house. He was dangerous as fuck, yeah. I'm telling you, I'll tell you what happened to me after I'll tell you what happened to this over die, yeah, what I've told, found out after, yeah. Anyway, he got something like a five year sentence, but being deported. So what happened? They deported him. But when they got him on the boat to go to where he was going to, Africa, Jamaica, I don't know where he was going to. I thought he we was African, but the name not over dying. He never got there, mate. They reckon he opened the bottom of the boat and fucking him, and, and they just put weights around him, he, mate, he went, he, they killed him, yeah. So dangerous, mate. He was a fucking dangerous, dangerous fucking man. Anyway, forget that. So I'm in the block. I'm shouting that fuck off. Screws comes to my door. This, that, and the other. Illy, get down, you fucking wanker. Get down. All right, go, no problem. Go down. And furthermore to that, Illy, all right? Furthermore to that, you little shit. What do you want to eat? I said, what do you want from me? 
what you want to walk? Can I get, no, 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 listen to me. You're in the block. You ain't getting out of your fucking cell. We're bringing the food to you, yeah? Oh, fuck that. Oh, no, what do you want? This is what we got. Bosh, bosh, bosh. I want our that, yeah? And all of a sudden, a lot of food comes in. Loads of fucking food, mate. Nice fucking sandwiches as well. And screws are put, done for me. Tobacco, everything. I've got, I'm well looked after, mate. <laughs> do you know what I mean? When they come in with a, with a menu, they're fucking giving me, like, proper food, right? So I'm getting looked after. I thought, fucking hell, this is nice, mate. So anyway, I'm night time. That's it. When the morning door opens up, go, uh, the lead, deputy governor, mate, goes in and says that, um, Raymond Hill, um, we understand that you had a bit of trouble uh, in, in the yard and what have you. Is that correct? No. What do you mean no? What do you mean trouble in the yard? Well, didn't you have some trouble with a, a, a prison officer in the yard? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I abused him. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I didn't, but it was what they fucking told me to say. All right? Uh, yes, I did. I had a bit of trouble, uh, Governor. Well, uh, we don't like this sort of thing in this prison. Uh, you're going to be transferred. I went, I can't believe it. I've only been in there fucking a week. <laughs> fucking ten days. Yeah, okay. You're going to be transferred. Um, we don't know where yet, but you'll be transferred very soon. Is that okay? Even still. Oh, Governor. Fuck, that's terrible. Please help me out. I'm a fucking zombie. I'm happy. Huh? Governor, come on, mate. I want to stay in the scrubs. Come on. Illy. Fuck off, mate. It's the governor, deputy governor. Fuck off, Billy. Go and bang up, mate. Everyone knows what it's all it's all about, right? So go and bang up, mate. Right? All of a sudden, exercise. So anyway, let me out of the yard. And um, I'm walking around the fucking yard, minding my own business. And uh, I forget this guy's name, you know. Fucking, what was his name? The, the poisoner. Um, anyway, I'm walking around the yard. There's this fucking poison here. I don't know who's the poison at the time, yeah? Walking around the yard, he's shouting out, hello mate, well, he's got a little fucking hair cut, a little parting in his hair. And you know, I thought, fuck me, he's, only, he's not very tiny, he's very tiny, you know? So I'm walking around the yard, he's going, uh, walking around my cage, I'm, it's a cage, yeah? I'm on about the single cage, he's got a single cage, I've got a single cage, it's a big cage at the end, yeah? So he got to me, uh, you got any fags, mate? I went, no, I don't smoke, mate, but I've got tobacco. I've got a court with you, and it was cellophane over the top of the quarter. So I said, fight over the top. So I'm watching the screws, the screws see me fight over on fact. Right? Anyway, fight over, he gets it, yeah? So he gets it, and I go back in the cell. Has my fucking breakfast, this, that, and the other, whatever I'm having, dinner, breakfast, what it is. Anyway, in the morning, I'm going to come out, come out get, go out and get the fucking bits and pieces sorted out, go away, exercise, try to get, he don't come out. He don't come out, where's my fucking tobacco, you know what I mean? He got my fucking tobacco. So I thought to myself, fucking hell. Anyway, that night, no, sorry, that day, big bodybuilder, what I was telling you about, comes to my fucking self, and he starts seeing me do press-ups and sit-ups, you know what I mean? He's laughing at me and showing me doing press-ups, yeah? He's a strong cunt, mate. His screw, mate. Fucking hell. Jo Hart, his name is. Jo I think it was John Hart or something, but it was Mr. Universe, yeah? Big fucking black dude. Started showing me these different press ups. Come on, it's a screw. Showing me different press ups in a nick. In them days, it was fucked up hard, yeah? But because I've done what I've done, they're fucking right on my case. They love me, mate. Anyway, I'm doing these press ups he showed me and sit ups and sit ups. So every day I'm doing them, I'm getting better. I started off with 10. In the end, I'm fucking doing 30. Press ups like 30 uh, in sets of 10 and all that. But I'm only going to be there 10 days a week, two weeks. So, anyway, that tobacco I'm throwing over all of a sudden it's tea time, supper time, yeah. Screws come around with the teas, the buns, and all that sort of thing. So they come to my cell and they go, and they fucking rush in my cell, right? And they went, Illy, mate, you got some tobacco to give to you, yeah? From him down the road here, the little fella, I forget his name, but he was the top poisoner, yeah, he was a fucking little fucking rat, poisoner, could poison about 50 people, yeah, I went, fucking hell, you're joking, I went, yeah, 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 
Well, sir, we ain't giving you this fucking quarter. We're going to get it checked out first, yeah? And hopefully it gets checked out rightly. You know what I mean? Otherwise, he, tried to, he must be trying to kill you as well. I mean, fuck off. I don't smoke any fucking way. So it didn't matter to me, mate. He said, well, whatever, really. Anyway, then, fuck you off. Come back. What, a day later? Give me my quarter and give me two buns. I went, two buns? What's two buns for? He went, he's giving you his bun. But he ain't getting it in his cell. We've got it for you. We'll give it to you ourselves, yeah? So I've got two buns. I've had it off, yeah? And a jug of cocoa, yeah? I thought, yeah, everyone gets tea. I get cocoa. <laughs> I'm loving it, yeah? So anyway, they were, they, 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 I can't sleep. I can't sleep. There's a fucking noise all night. Dick, dick, dick. All fucking night long, it's driving me fucking mad. Click, 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 click. What the fuck's that noise? It's driving me off my fucking head. You know what I mean? I think it's the pigeons and everything out the window, yeah. So I'm fucking going nuts. I can't keep, mate. Anyway, in the morning, I said to the screw, mate, you got to stop. I don't know what it is, right? But whatever it is, I can't sleep. It's driving me off my fucking nut. He said, what is it, Lee? I said, some fucking noise. Tick, 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 tick. I said, it's Ian Brady. I went, what, Ian Brady the Moors murderer? He went, yeah. I said, what's the fucking noise? He said, that's, that's him and a typewriter. I went, you're telling me that Ian Brady, that killed him and little kids, and they haven't found half of them, he's upstairs in his cell with a typewriter. Is that what you're telling me? He said, yes, mate. And it ain't us, mate. It's come from the governor, deputy governor. So I'm thinking to myself, see these shit cunts, you know what they're doing, don't you? They're getting in touch with the paper. The paper are fucking giving them money, right, to get the stories of this cunt, his life stories or whatever it is, yeah? It's all he's doing, mate, his stories. This fucking shit cunt, right? I can't believe it, yeah? But that he's upstairs above me in the block, in a fucking cell with a tiger, right? What else you got in there, you know what I mean? He could have everything like a fucking proper fucking home, you know what I mean? So in the morning when I go into exercise, I rush past the screws, rush up the fucking stairs, yeah? I want to kill this cunt, you know what I mean? Open his doors open, but it's shut. I'm banging on the fucking door. See you, you cunt, Ian Brady. You're fucking lucky your door shut, you little cunt. I want to kill the screws, got hold of me, drag me down, down the stairs, bump, bang me up, and don't even get exercise and fuck all, yeah? The next day I'm gone. I'm going to Albany, yeah? Anyway, that's a little bit of my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm Ray Hill. My name's Ray, Ray, Ray Bang Bang Hill on my new podcast. Please view, please subscribe. There's got a lot more stories, mate, you're going to really like, and bigger stories, yeah? So they get better and better and better, yeah? Take care, and have a nice day, yeah?